God is fighting for us, pushing back the darkness, lighting up the kingdom that cannot be shaken. In the name of Jesus, enemies defeated, and we will shout it out, shout it out. God is fighting for us, pushing back the darkness, lighting up the kingdom. Greetings to you all in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This morning, as we in the presence of the Lord, let us submit ourselves in the hands of God. And let's all look to the Lord in prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Spirit of God. You are the living water, never drying fountain. This morning, our heart longs for you. We love to be with you, O Lord Jesus. We love to be in your presence, O God. There is no one like you, O Lord Jesus. There is none like you, Lord. We glorify your name, we glorify your name, hallelujah. Lord, we magnify your name, thank you, Jesus. Almighty God, Almighty God, Almighty God, hallelujah. This morning, Lord, prepare our hearts and minds, O God. Make us holy, Lord Jesus. Make us worthy to be in your presence, O God. We need you, O Lord Jesus. We need your strength, O oh Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Without you, we are nothing, O oh God. Without you, we are nothing, O oh Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, this morning, help each and everyone to worship you in truth and spirit, O oh Lord Jesus. Let your name be honored and lifted up in this place, O oh God. Lord, we summon the rest of the time in your mighty hand. In Jesus' name, I ask. Amen. Hallelujah. As we all know, our God loves our praises. Amen. Hallelujah. This morning, we are going to praise and exalt the wonderful name. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us sing this wonderful song. Praise is rising. Eyes are turning to you. We turn to you. Come in. 
no one like our God. Amen. This morning, if you are waiting for a miracle, only He can do miracles. Only He can transform your life. Only He can change your situation. Amen. This morning, as we are going to sing this song, Water You Turn Into Wine, believe Him. Put all your trust in Him. Surely God will do great things. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's all put your hands together and sing this song.
wonderful Lord thank you for your unfailing love oh Lord Jesus beautiful God we love you beautiful God we adore you we worship your name oh Lord we worship your name oh Lord Jesus Unchanging, 
Hallelujah. This morning as you wait in the presence of God, lift your hands and give thanks to Him. Say whatever God has done to you. Think about that. Declare that. Proclaim that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You are beautiful beyond description. You are marvelous. You are glorious. Beautiful Savior. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for all the things that you're doing in our lives, oh God. With a thankful heart, sing the song. Here we are lifting our hands to you. We worship your holy name for every answered prayer, oh God.
Lord. Lift that Father for holy day. So turn your Bibles with me to Psalm 146. Psalm 146. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, O my soul. When I leave, I will praise the Lord. I will sing praises to my God while I have my being. Do not put your trust in princes, nor in a son of man, in whom there is no help. His spirit departs. He returns to his earth. In that very day, his plans perish. Happy is he who has the God of Jacob for his help, whose hope is in the Lord his God, who made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them, who keeps truth forever, who executes justice for the oppressed, who gives food to the hungry. The Lord gives freedom to the prisoners. The Lord opened the eyes of the blind. The Lord raises those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord watches over the strangers. He relieves the fatherless and widow. But the way of the wicked, he turns upside down. The Lord shall reign forever. Your God, O Zion, to all generations. Praise the Lord. May God bless us through his holy word. Once again, greetings to you all in the name of the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God has added one more week in our lives to give praise and worship His holy name. Amen. This morning, 
Please turn your Bibles with me to the book of Isaiah, chapter 64, verse 4. For since the beginning of the world, men have not heard, nor perceived by the ear, nor has the eye seen any God besides you, who acts for the one who waits for him. Who acts for the one who waits for him. Amen. You and me worshipping a living God. Who acts for his people. Amen. Who answers all our prayers. This morning the title of my sermon is. When answer for your prayer delays what you have to do. When answer for your prayer delays what you have to do. If you look at the background of this particular chapter. The book, of, the book of Isaiah, we can be divided into three major sections. From till chapter 35, it's talking about the prophecies of Israel and Judah concerning the growing power of Assyria. From chapter 36 to chapter 39, from the current threat of Assyria to the future threat of Assyria, Assyria's successor, Babylon. And from chapter 40 to 66, in prophets Isaiah view, they were in exile. They were in Babylon now. But if you come to, if you are from 40 to 66, the message of Isaiah is comfort. He is talking about the messianic deliverance. But when you come here, it ends in Isaiah chapter 63 verse 6 describes God's final judgment upon the nation. Chapter 63 verse 7 till the end of this particular chapter. Prayer for those who are in exile. Prophet Isaiah is praying for the people, those who are in exile. Here, the situation is, the people are not getting the answers from God. Amen. There are times we pray we wait in the presence of the Lord and we want God to intervene. But we, there are times answer delays. But if you are not able to receive any answer from God, if God is delaying to answer you, you and me have to do certain things. When we read this particular chapter, Isaiah chapter 64 verse 1 and 2, from there we are able to understand if you are not getting the answer from God, the first thing which you have to do is think about what God has done in the past. Think about what God has done in the past. If you come to Isaiah chapter 64 verse 1 and 2, here Isaiah says, Oh, that you would rend the heavens, that you would come down, that the mountains might shake at your presence. As fire burns brushwood, as fire causes water to boil, to make your name known to your adversaries, that the nations may tremble at your presence. Here, Isaiah is talking about the presence of God. Amen. In front of the presence of God, the nations will tremble. The nations will tremble in front of of our God because our God is powerful. Here Isaiah's heart is longing. Even in the midst of trouble, while he was praying, he was able to remember what God has did to Israelites. He was quoting what happened when God descended in Sinai. If you come to Exodus chapter 19, there we can see that. Moses laid before them what God has commanded to them. And he shared whatever God told. And the people said, we will do whatever God wants us to do. And God told them, tell the people to consecrate themselves. And on the third day, if you come to Exodus chapter 19 verse 16, then it's come to pass on the third day in the morning, that there were thundering and lightnings and a thick cloud on the mountain. And the sound of the trumpet was very loud. So that all the people were in the camp trembled. 
we all know about this incident right when god descended at sinai the people were scared the people were trembled there were lightning and the sound of the trumpet was very loud and the whole earth was shaking the mountains were shaking and the people were trembled to know that the god of israel is real the neighboring countries were they able to see the power of the god of israel here the people are in the situation with they have no power at all they are slaves now they are under bondage there is no one to deliver them in this situation the prophet is praying prophet is remembering what god has did and his heart longs that god you come again you show your power like on the days of moses and he wants god to do that again he wants the people those who are not able to understand the power of god they should see the power of god that's that was his longing see that isaiah is remembering those days those good old days and he believed that the god never changed he's the, he got the same power he's the same today and forever he's the same god he's an unchanging god he believed that and he's thinking about what god has did in the past amen this morning if you are in a situation you are not getting any answers from god you have to do is what you have to do in this time you have to keep on praying you have to remember what god has did on the past and you have to give praise and worship his holy name amen god loves that you know if you come to the book of joshua chapter 4 from verse 1 onwards when the people cross jordan god asked them god told joshua talk to the leaders the tribal leaders and chose 12 men and they chose 12 stones and they laid the stone why because god said this will be the sign to share your children what god has done to you mate god don't want you to forget god want the later generation should see this and they should praise god for what god has did amen god don't want you to forget that's why in psalm 103 verse 2 there you will see bless the lord o my soul and do not forget all his benefits we all have achieved certain things right if you in your house you may have many awards in your living room you like to show that to others right when people come they will see what all awards you have and they will ask how we receive this award and you like to share about that that is good even though you receive this award 30 years 50 years back still it's there for your remembrance and the people ask and you remember you think about that what happened on that day right in the same way i request each and every one of you make a big chart and write down what all god has did in your life and paste that in your living room amen so whenever the people come they will see that and they will ask what happened and you can share you can remember what has did and you can give praise and glory to the name of the lord amen there are times we are murmuring there are times we are in pain the reason is we fail to remember what god has did in our lives amen this morning in the midst of trouble i like to encourage each and every one of you the people are in slavery the people are in trouble in the midst of that the prophet was able to remember what god has did and he want god to show the same power amen when you remember the past it gives you the strength to move forward it help you to put all your trust in the living god because our god is an unchanging god if god has did something in your life in the past surely he can do now believe that and the second thing in the midst of trouble 
and if you are not getting the answers from god the second thing which you have to do is have faith in god have faith in god surely god will meet his people what he is saying in the book of isaiah chapter 64 verse 5 here isaiah say you meet him who rejoices and does righteousness you meet him who rejoices and does righteousness who remembers you in your ways amen the people if you are righteous god will do, meet those who seek him god will meet those who have faith in him god will meet those who please him by walking in his ways amen surely he will meet you amen if you are a child of god surely god will come and meet you in the new testament if you come to gospel of luke chapter 22 verse 25 and 26 there you will you can see simeon when you look at his life he become old now but it is written like this he was righteous and devout and he was looking for the consolation of israel and the holy spirit was upon him look at him he was righteous and devout and looking for the consolation of israel and holy spirit was upon him this guy he was faithful to god and he is praying for his nation and the holy spirit was upon him and god has promised him something that he would not see death before he had seen the lord christ he won't die he will see christ god has given that promise but he is righteous he has been continued to be faithful to god continued to pray for the nation the holy spirit was with him but he became very old but one day joseph and mary entered into the church and they gave jesus baby jesus in the hands of simeon and he prayed like this he said like this if you come luke chapter 2 verse 29 lord now you are letting your servant depart in peace according to your words for my eyes have seen your salvation for my eyes have seen your salvation look at here god has promised something god has promised something to you surely he will fulfill that he was continue to be faithful he was continue to pray the holy spirit was with him and god fulfilled his wish god fulfilled his promise and also in the new testament if you come to acts chapter 10 verse 31 there we can see cornelius and if you meditate about the life of cornelius here also you will find cornelius angel said cornelius your prayer has been heard and your arms have been remembered before god amen this guy continue to pray continue to wait in the presence of the lord and through peter he was able to receive salvation he was able to know about jesus he was able to know about cross amen he was god meet him god will surely meet those who are faithful amen god will surely meet those who are faithful in the bible we can see that god will never leave his children as orphans if you come to john chapter gospel of john chapter 14 verse 18 there we can see that i will not leave you as orphans i will come to you how many of you believe that god will come to you how many of you believe that god won't leave you as orphans believe in god amen if you are not getting the answers if you feel that you have lost connection with god if you feel that why god is so silent this morning don't worry about anything continue to remember what god has did in your life and give praise to god and have faith in god surely god will meet you and when we read thirdly when you come here the prayer of isaiah changed if you come to verse number 64 verse number 5 last part his prayer changed like this 
Lord, you are indeed angry. For we have seen in this way we continue and we need to be saved. But we are all like an unclean thing. And all our righteousness are like filthy rags. We all fade as a leaf. And our iniquities like the wind have taken us away. Earlier, we talk about the righteous people. Those who walk in the ways of the Lord. God met them. Amen. God guided them. They were the promises of God fulfilled in their lives. But here when you come, Isaiah telling in Israel, the people, there is no one is faithful. No one is seeking God faithfully. The people are doing sin. They are people continue to live in sin. And he says that, Lord, we all are unclean. We all are unclean. Our righteousness are like the filthy rags. Amen. There are times we think like we are faithful people. We are not like the people those who live in this world. We are holy. But it, the holiness, our righteousness is different from God's righteousness. His standard is different. Amen. God don't want you and me to walk according to our standard. God want you and me to walk in his standard. Amen. Here it is clearly written, our righteousness are like filthy rags. And no one who calls on your name. When you look at these people, you may think that these people are worse people. They are not seeking God. They are not like us. You may think that these people are not worshipping God, not giving offering to God. But if you come to the beginning of this book, Isaiah chapter 1 verse 11 to 15, there we will be able to find Isaiah chapter 11. There God says, To what purpose is the multitude of your sacrifices to me? Says the Lord. I have heard enough of burnt offerings of rams and the fat of the fed cattle. I do not delight in the blood of bulls or of lambs or goats. And when you come to verse number 30. Bring no more futile sacrifices. Incense is an abomination to me. The new moons, the sabbaths and the calling of assemblies. I cannot endure iniquity and the sacred meeting. Look at here. The people are offering sacrifices. They are giving more sacrifices. They are giving burnt offering. But God is telling, I am not delight in all your sacrifices. The people are keep on coming to God. The, the people keep on giving offering to God. But God is not delight. And the people are lifting their hands and they are praying. If you come to verse number 15. When you spread out your hands, I will hide my eyes from you. Even though you make many prayers, I will not hear. God is telling, even though you're, you're praying, you make many prayers, I'm not going to hear you because your hands are full of blood. Amen. I'm not going to hear your prayers because you are sinners. The third important thing is, we have to repent from sin. We have to repent from sin. God don't want you to live in sin. God came into this world for you and me to lead a holy life. Amen. If you are not getting answer from God. The first important thing which you have to do is. You have to remember what God has done in your lives. And you have to give praise for that. And you have to believe. You have to have faith in God that. Surely God will meet me. And the third important thing is. Repent from sin. If there are any areas. Which is not pleasing my God. We have to confess that. And God is telling that, you are, you people are sinners, I am not going to answer your prayers. I am not pleased with your offerings. I am not pleased with your church gatherings. I am not at all interested. Amen. Why? If you come, Isaiah chapter 29 verse 13 and also Gospel of Matthew chapter 15 verse 8. These people come near to me with their mouth and honor me 
with their lips but their hearts are far away from me but their hearts are far away from me amen external religious practices are very very good in front of people we all carry by we all carrying bible we are lifting our hands we are singing songs we are worshiping god we are giving offering but for god is these these things are these external things are not a matter at all because he looks at our heart i mean if our hearts are not right with god our righteous acts are like filthy rags dirty rags i mean this world is like a highway full of sin but god don't want you to walk in the ways of this world god don't want you to travel I mean if you are continue to live in sin this morning god is asking you to take an u turn god want you to fix your eyes on god god want you to turn back to him leave the unwanted things leave the sin don't love the sin return to god as long as you fail to return to god god is not going to accept your worship god is not going to accept your offerings god don't want you, whatever you pray whatever you ask you are not going to get anything come back to god come back to the heart of worship and say to him lord you are my everything i surrender my lives i surrender my lives here isaiah begin looking at the past god is faithful lord i believe in you you did great things in the times of moses and he is praying lord we want that and he had a faith that surely lord you will meet us but later he, he was saying that lord we are sinners the final when you wait in the presence of the lord and if your answers are delayed the final thing which you have to do is if you come to isaiah chapter 64 last part who acts for the one who waits for him who acts for the one waits for him the first thing which you have to do is remember what god has done in our lives and you have to give praise secondly have faith in god third repent from sin finally wait for him wait for him if you wait for him continually surely he will act for you surely he will come surely he will come and bless you surely he will prosper you amen in the later part of that chapter in verse number 8 here isaiah is telling that lord we are clay we are in your hands you are the potter you are the potter we are the clay and this morning i request each and every one of you god is in control he is our everything give your life completely to god let him transform your life let him make let him mold you let him transform you for his glory for his purpose amen clay will never ask question clay will never guide the potter rather potter will make the clay according to his wishes this morning say to god lord not my will lord let your will be done in my life let your will be done in my life if you lost hope if you waited for so long how long you have been waiting how long you have been waiting abraham and sara they have waited for 25 long years i mean surely this morning don't be don't get discouraged you have to wait for another 25 long years surely god is going to answer you surely god will answer all your prayers you no need to wait for 24 long years but wait in the presence of the lord continually don't lose hope if you wait in the presence of the lord surely a day will come you will join with david saying psalm 40 verse 1 i waited patiently for the lord he inclined to me and heard my cry 
he also brought me up out of the horrible pit out of the miry clay and set my feet upon a rock and established my steps amen hallelujah surely we will join with david and we will pray like this amen hallelujah how many of you believe god in psalm 25 verse 3 says like this indeed let no one who waits on you be ashamed no one who waits on you be ashamed surely god will answer surely god will fulfill his purpose in your life if you wait in the presence of the lord if you wait in the presence of the lord surely god will meet you god will change your life god will transform transform your life this morning those who are waiting for your answers god has spoke four things to you this is a very simple thing we all know about this god actually god reminded us this morning while you are waiting don't lose hope remember what god has done and give glory to him have faith in god put all your trust in god surely god will come and meet you thirdly repent from sin and finally continue to wait in, the, in his presence god will meet you let's all look to the lord in prayer heavenly father we come to your throne of grace oh god thank you for this wonderful morning that you given us to come in your presence to worship you to honor your name oh lord jesus thank you god for encouraging through your word lord i pray for each and every one those who heard this message they may waiting for long time and their answers are delayed even though their answers are delayed our god is in throne he ne- he is an unchanging god surely he will intervene surely he will meet with his people surely he will come and transform lord as we continue to wait in your presence lord help each and every one not to forget all your benefits let them put your, their put all their trust in you alone oh god let them give their life completely let them lead a holy life lord those who call upon the name of the lord will be saved surely will be saved lord you encourage each and every one to continue to wait in your presence let your name be glorified let your name be honored through your children oh god in jesus name i ask amen may the grace of the lord jesus christ and love the father and the sweet come of the holy spirit be with you forever and ever amen hallelujah god bless you all